Hey, just wanted to record a quick video on the internals of a CXI34 Chiltrix indoor fan coil. Um, bought a few of these for our house of the larger variety. This is one of the ones that we haven't installed yet. So figured I'd show you what was on the inside. Um, also check out the other video I've got. I'll put it up above on the outdoor unit and some of the design choices that I made when we put in our own system. What are we going to open? Can going to open the box? Um, Alright, so let's open this side. Can you pull it open? got here is the smallest of the Chiltrix indoor water fan coils. As it says plainly on the box, it's a water fan coil. I feel like they just took some of the words that describe what this is and just put them all together. It certainly seems like an imported product. All right, so let's pull this guy out. Can you hold the camera, Jacob? Can you hold it? Here. You gotta hold it straight up and down, like this. No, grab it. All right, see, because it's looking. It's looking right here, right? See? So you need to point it at the box. What's in it? About to find out. Don't kick it. What? Doesn't deserve being kicked. <clears throat> Whoa, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. we've got here is the CXI 34, not to be confused with the CX 34, which is the outdoor unit. That I is very important. This is $600 versus the $4,000. So what we have in here are the two water connection pipes, and we've got the um, condensate drain pipe, the remote control, and some hardware for attaching it to the wall. And let me pull this bag open for you guys. So this is the remote right there. And this is a template that you can use when you are drilling holes in the wall so that you get it right. Um, so the way this attaches to the wall is this here, as you can see if it wasn't zip tied on, um, from the other side you will drill holes and put anchors in the sheetrock or drill into studs and hold this to the wall and then the uh, Chiltrix unit will drop down onto it. I don't know if you can see from there, but from here you can see how that piece works. So pretty simple installation onto the wall. And then, let's see here. You have multiple methods of mounting this. So you probably can have seen so you can mount it um, up against the ceiling, so it would be mounted like this, and this would be the condensate tray for that, and there's the drain. Or you can mount it vertically, like I've got this one mounted, and this would be your condensate tray. Um, what you've got here 
is your water in and your water out. And you'll notice on your tubes here, um, this end has a more square nut on it. This end is more rounded. That's because one of these is an NPT fitting and one of them is a garden hose fitting. And they actually say that on the side. I didn't catch this at first. So that's an NPT fitting. This is a garden hose fitting. So on the garden hose fitting, the threads are not the seal. Um, it's going to seal up against this piece of metal right here on the inside. So what you'll use is from this hardware bag, you've got these white washers. So you'll pop that white washer down onto there. Well, that's the NPT. And you'll actually use this on the NPT as well. Um, that's how these will seal. Even though this is an NPT thread, it'll seal against the surface there. But you'll have the, um, the square ends up against the water coil unit. Uh, if you've watched my other video, you'll know that when I connected my Chiltrix indoor units, I put an electric valve on the inlet for the water. That way, when the thermostat of the Chiltrix indoor unit called for cooling or heating, there's a 24 volt AC line going to my electronic ball valve that will then make the water start flowing, or allow the water to start flowing. Obviously the pump is, gonna what, is what's gonna make the water start flowing. <clears throat> so I had to come in here and take apart this box to figure out where that 24 volt AC is coming from. I will do y'all the favor of telling you it is these black wires right here. So this is gonna be your two terminals for your 24 volt AC. Um, and you'll see one side is using this here. So all you got to do is pop this open and pop your uh, stripped wire down into that hole and then when you close this it will clamp onto your wire. So nice and easy fitting there. And then you've got here is your 110 volt AC from your house. So what I did is I piggybacked off of a electrical socket that was close by. So you also have some heat cool wires here. You've got a on off set of wires and you have a what appears to be a ground ground wire and a gray wire that I have not determined where it goes. So to change the air filter, you would take this front cover pop it straight towards you and just pull this out and I just wash mine in the sink. That's all there is to it. There's your DC inverter drive blower motor. <clears throat> and you'll notice if you take this off while it's running there is a micro switch in here. So it shuts off if you take the air filter out. I just held out my magnets. There's a magnet right there and right there. And then of course the two clips.